Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to share a little bit about my medical journey. So I have been in medicine for four years now and hopefully if everything goes well, I will be graduating next year. I took SPM, A-levels and then I went into IMU and then now I'm in ANU. I graduated from high school in the year of 2015. Between SPM and um, going into med school, you still need to do like a pre-U kind of thing. We call that pre-university. It's a course or program that you need to take before you get into a degree. If you want to go into a private university, even if you didn't do well in SPM, you could still try to do well in your pre-university program. So for me, I took A-levels. The reason why I took A-levels is because I am not so sure about my pathway and the degree that I want to choose. I actually only decided to do medicine when I'm in A-levels. So for me, my SPM results is not what I expected. I was aiming for a JPA scholarship. The criteria to get a JPA scholarship is 9A plus during my year and I only managed to get 9As and 5A plus so I'm only like 4A plus away from JPA scholarship because the reason why I want to do that is because I want to like um, have a financial aid and I don't want to spend much of my parents money but unfortunately that doesn't work for me but i'm still very grateful that my parents is very supportive and they are always supporting my dreams and even though it's even though the tuition fees for med school is very expensive oh. Oh yeah, I can't like, I'm very emotional right now. Just cause, just cause I'm in Australia and I don't get to see them that often and I just miss them very much. How they are like working to support my dreams is like really something. Uh, <laughs> guys, I'm sorry. Enough with all the emotional talk. So, um, I took the 15 month program, which is a, quite a short program for A-levels. I took physics, bio, math and chemistry because I am really sure that I want to go into a science degree. Although in AS exam, I got four A's but my bio is kind of like in a borderline A so I got, I think I got 80 for my bio. My physics is 88 I think. At the end, I decided that I want to do medicine so that's why I um, drop my physics just because I want to focus more on bio and I feel that bio is actually quite hard. Chemistry is a compulsory subject for medicine as well and bio bio as well and uh, math and physics you can either choose one but then I decided to choose math because math in A levels is quite similar to um, SPM and math. Even though in high school, my score for bio is the highest, but after going into A-levels, I feel that physics is actually easier to score in A-levels than bio. I know that going into an overseas university directly from Malaysia with my A-levels result is really not that possible. And then I applied to go into IMU. The reason why I did not choose other university like Monash or uh, Newcastle or Manipal it's not because they are not good it's because I want to go overseas and study and have a different experience to be honest the experience in IMU is really the best thing that I can experience throughout my medical journey it's not that I don't like to be in Australia it's just that I managed to connect with many different people in I am you. I did things like cheerleading, I joined photography club, I knew many many different people from my cohort. Some of them are from local and some of them are from overseas. In IMU, we have CA, continuous assessment, and we have like a big exam at the end of the year. It is also the exam that decides whether you can get into the next semester or not. So me and my friends always only focus on exams a few months before the final exams and at the beginning of the semester we always enjoy ourselves and 
do different things. After coming to Australia, I realized that the things that I learned in IMU, all the theory, started to make sense after I started going to hospital. And in preclinical phase, sometimes I'm just so depressed that I don't know what I'm learning about and I couldn't really remember so many things at once. I'm sure that some of you guys will feel the same way as well, like for those who are already in med school. But what I want to say is many things will start to make sense once you get into clinical phase. So don't give up and yeah, if I can, if I can go through that, you guys can definitely go through that as well. And you can still try to pick up things during clinical phase. That is kind of what I'm doing right now because after the two and a half year in IMU, I continue another six months in IMU doing my research and after finishing my research project, I took another six months. It's not that I chose that I want to take this six month gap, it's just I'm waiting for um, the commencement of my semester in Australia so that's why I have to take another six month gap. I sort of like took a very big break in between of my pre-clinical phase and clinical phase so that's why I feel that most of my medical knowledge is like I already don't know <laughs> where it went and I couldn't even remember let's see, let me think remember the anatomy of like the arms so it's okay if you feel that you are not good enough in the two and a half year in pre-clinical phase I'm in clinical right now and that happens to me at the beginning of my clinical phase I just want to tell you guys that things will get better I feel that the me 7 months ago is really very very different from who I am right now I have confidence that you guys can make it as long as you guys are really willing to take what it takes for you to be a good doctor so right now I am in clinical phase I am in Australia right now and by looking back the first time when I entered into med school it's really really different from now if you guys have any questions you guys can just leave a comment down below or you guys can approach me in Instagram I am really really happy to reply your message right now because I am currently in the lockdown in Australia and I am not having my clinical placement. I really hope that you enjoy this video and if you do, please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also leave a like down below. Thank you very much for watching. See you!